in this Samsara video, we're going to cover the basics of getting logged in and setting up some of the basic settings so that everything's working properly in your app. So first thing, open up the Samsara driver app. Now you're going to need three things when you log in. You need your fleet ID, your username, and your password. Some people think that they need to put their username at the top and you don't. You need to put fleet ID, so don't get confused by that. We're going to sign in. If this is your first time signing in, it's probably going to say it needs to download an update. Just let it do that. That's no problem. It's going to get all loaded here. And then once we get signed in, we're going to need to choose some of our basic vehicle information like our truck number, trailer, and bill lading number. So I'm going to start by choosing truck 25, for example. I'm going to confirm my selection. Now, two things to know. When you choose a vehicle, if it first says, hey, someone else has this vehicle, are you sure you want to claim it anyways? Of course, make sure that no one else is driving that vehicle. I assume if you're choosing it, no one else is. You can claim it anyway. It just means someone forgot to sign out of it. The second thing is, after you select it and claim it, it might think for a minute and then pop up and say, hey, there's unassigned driving time that you need to review, or you can skip it. Almost every single time you want to skip it. That unassigned time is there because someone pulled the truck into the shop to work on it or we took it over to the dealership to get some repairs. You don't want to accept that time. It's not your time. Unless you started driving down the road and then forgot that you hadn't logged in and then you logged in and then you would accept some of that drive time because you were actually driving. So most of the time you want to skip that. Okay, on to the trailer thing. Always make sure you have trailers selected. Never skip choosing trailers. Always have trailers in there. I don't care if you make up a fake trailer. Shipping ID. Add a shipping ID in there. Make sure that you've got your bill of lading number here. You always want to have a shipping ID and a trailer number. If you don't, you get an inspection. It is a violation. So make sure you do that. Make sure you choose those things. So now we've got that information. It brings up that I have some logs that I haven't certified. Ask me if I want to certify them. I could do this at this point, but I don't want to do it yet because I want to show you something later. So I'm going to skip this step. Okay, now, interesting, it's telling me I've been removed from a vehicle. I don't know why that is. Someone uh, kicked me out of my vehicle. Okay, I'm back into it. Now we're in this basic screen. There's a lot of stuff in here. What I just want to focus on are some of these settings up in the top right. The first one we'll talk about is this little gear icon that looks like a, a wheel, a gear wheel. This is your settings button. If this button ever has a red icon on it or a red dot on it, it means there's an update. You should always download the update as soon as it becomes available as it helps the app run more stable. I'm going to click on that settings icon now. First thing I want you to go to is the hours of service settings. And there's this split sleeper toggle. It's going to be off if it's your first time logging in. If so, turn it on. This is always a beneficial thing to have in case you ever get stuck somewhere for a couple of hours. And we'll hit that later when we do the hours of service video. Another setting that I want to point out in here is your theme. You can change it so that it's dark, light, or automatic. I like it on auto, so in the daytime it's light, and at nighttime it's dark. There's some other things like the auto open driving screen, auto open rest screen. This just has to do with how things look in the hours of service side as you're driving. I'll let you play with those. They're not anything that's that important to the actual function of the app. Next thing over here, we have the messages. We never use messages in our company to communicate, say like text messaging. We just use it to communicate some mass information like here, Kathy was sending a message out to all of us about how to get our W2s. But you can use that to send messages back and forth if you like, and just watch for them when messages come through. It's usually some general information that's good for you to know. I wanna point out this trophy button. This is something we can use to see how you're doing on our driving safety scores and different things. We don't really use this right now, but you can see how you do compared to other drivers if you wish to do so. And then last is this logout button, the rectangle with the arrow. It's the logout button or sign out button. Now, a couple things are important to know about the sign out button is, let's say, like in my case, as you can see, I have lots of uncertified logs because I haven't driven in a few weeks. If I went in to certify those, I have to do them every single day, like day by day. That's a lot of buttons to click. Or I can come in here, I can hit review and certify, and I can um, submit them all at once. If there was anything that had a violation, it highlighted in red so I could go back and make some changes if I needed to or just so I knew. I'm going to hit not ready because I want to show you something about certifying later. Also, when signing out, an important thing to know is if you feel like the Samsara app is having some issues, signing out is like the best way to fix those issues. Don't restart the app. Don't turn off your phone or tablet and turn it back on. Just sign out and sign back in. That has always fixed any glitch that the app is having. 
Okay, that covers your basic general information, logging in, getting things set up so you're ready to go. When it comes to these other bits of information, we're gonna make separate videos for those. So check out our other videos on what each of these little tiles means and how you can best use the Samsara Driver app. Well, I hope you found this video really helpful. If you want to, click right down in here. This is the subscribe button. That'll give you more of our helpful videos. And then after that, come over here and click here for more of our videos. Remember, truck drivers are American heroes. Let's make truck drivers great again and keep on trucking.